Hi there, my name is George Noya. I'm the team leader for the Mobile Labs and Kits team. Uh, this is Dr. Carrie Poor. She is uh, the team leader for the training team as well as the senior scientist for the Mobile Labs and Kits team. Uh, this is the BAML, the Biological Assessment Mobile Lab. Uh, we designed this lab to be deployed for a demonstration project um, out in uh, Florida. Uh, it's strictly for bio. It's a BSL-2 lab. Uh, there's a glove box and two fume hoods, I mean two biosafety cabinets. Um, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about the actual deployment. Sure. Uh, this was a ditcher funded project. The ultimate goal was to test an unmanned aerial vehicle um, that was deployed from the ship that we were, that this laboratory was uh, positioned on. The UAV would fly to uh, Eglin Air Force Base and then fly through a plume that uh, simulated biological agent plume that had been uh, detonated um, at Eglin. The UAV would then come back, oh, take a sample at Eglin, come back to the ship uh, where we were um, positioned off the coast of the Pensacola Naval Air Station. That UAV would be disassembled, um, the collection tubes would be taken off of the UAV, uh, brought into the um, pass through, uh, which you can see behind us, into the glove box where we would begin sample processing. We would then move through the entire, uh, move that sample through the entire uh, laboratory through different uh, biological te uh, detection technologies and ultimately receive a sample within a 24 hour window that we could report back to the incident commander. Okay. Yeah, some of the unique features with the, with the lab. Um, again, this is a glove box with the VHP uh, decon already built into it so you could decon the whole box on the interior. Uh, the other th unique feature is what we call the rapid uh, transfer port which is a um, newer technology to transfer the sample uh, throughout the lab. Yeah. yeah, this is the rapid transfer port that was used to transfer the sample throughout the lab uh, throughout uh, with all the engineering controls, the biosafety cabinet and the glove box. It acted as a means of secondary containment for that sample. And it also uh, was a safe way to transport the sample when we were um, potentially facing sea states of up to uh, sea state level three to five. Um, that uh, rapid transfer port ensured the safety of transport of that sample.